The Bedstead Men by Flanders and Swan. Oh, when you're walking in the country, far from villages and towns, when you're seven miles from nowhere and beyond, in some dark deserted forest or a hollow on the downs, you may come across a lonely pool or pond, and you'll always find a big brass broken bedstead by the bank. There's one in every loch or mere or fen. Don't think it's there by accident. It's us you have to thank, the Society of British Bedstead Men. Oh, the hammer ponds of Sussex and the dew ponds of the West a part of Britain's heritage, the part we love the best. Every eel and fish and mill pond has a beauty all can share, but not unless it's got a big brass broken bedstead there. So we filch them out of attics, we beg them from our friends, we buy them up at auction lots with other odds and ends. Then we drag them across the meadows when the moon is in the sky. So watch the wall, my darling while the bedstead men go by. The League of British Bedstead Men is marching through the night, a desperate and dedicated crew, under cover of the hedges always keeping out of sight, for the precious load of bedsteads must get through. The Society of Butting Broken Bedsteads into Ponds has another solemn purpose to fulfil. For our coastal sands and beaches all where waving willow wands mark the borders of a river, stream, or rill. You will always find a single laceless left-hand leather boot. A bootless British river bank's a shock. We leave them there at midnight, you can track a member's route by the alternating prints of boot and sock. Oh, the lily ponds of Suffolk and the mill ponds of the West are part of Britain's heritage, the part we love the best. Our riverbanks and seashores have a beauty all can share, provided there's a boot, provided there's a boot, provided there's at least one boot, three treadless tyres, a half-eaten pork pie, some oil drums, an old felt hat, a lorry load of tar blocks, and a broken bedstead there.